Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Preventing Deep Vein Thrombosis Introduction Deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, is a blood clot in a vein. Patients undergoing surgery and patients on bed rest in a hospital setting are at a higher risk of developing deep vein thrombosis. DVT is a potentially serious condition. If not treated, the blood clot can travel to the lung and cause a pulmonary embolism, which could be life-threatening. Blood clots kill millions of hospital patients across the world. In the U.S., about 2 million patients have DVT, and some 200,000 hospital patients die of DVT each year. This program explains deep vein thrombosis and provides tips for preventing it. Deep vein thrombosis a deep vein thrombosis is a blood clot that forms in a vein deep in the body, usually in the legs or pelvis area. A vein is a blood vessel that brings blood back to the heart. Deep vein thrombosis is also called DVT, venous thrombosis, or blood clot in the leg. Most clots in deep veins occur in the legs or pelvis. They can also occur in other parts of the body. If the clot breaks from the vein and travels through the bloodstream, it can lodge in your lung. This is called a pulmonary embolism, which is a very serious condition that can cause death. Blood clots can also form in veins that are close to the surface of the skin. These types of blood clots are called superficial venous thrombosis or phlebitis. Blood clots in superficial veins cannot travel to the lungs. After surgery, the risk of a blood clot in the leg is higher because of the operation and because the patient often stays in bed. Symptoms Some people with deep vein thrombosis experience the following symptoms. Swelling of the leg or swelling along a vein in the leg. Pain or tenderness in the leg. The pain is usually only in one leg and may only occur when standing or walking. Feeling of increased warmth in the area of the leg that is swollen or painful. Red or discolored skin. If the clot moves to the lungs, symptoms of pulmonary embolism include chest pain, shortness of breath, feeling that you can't catch your breath. Unfortunately, not all patients that have a pulmonary embolism experience clear symptoms. It is important to let your doctor or nurse know immediately if you have symptoms of a pulmonary embolism or deep vein thrombosis. These symptoms could happen while you are at the hospital or after going home. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Prevention It is easier to prevent DVT than to treat it. Walking is often the best way to prevent DVT. If you are able and allowed to get out of bed, be sure to walk at least three to four times a day. Have a nurse with you the first few times to make sure you are steady on your feet. If you are worried about your balance or ability to walk, ask your doctor to have a physical or occupational therapist visit you. If you are neither able nor allowed to get out of bed, then try to move your legs while in bed. Bicycle motion of the legs and flexing and extending the ankles are such exercises. Doing them 10 to 20 times an hour while awake may help prevent blood clots. If you are not able to exercise your legs because of weakness, paralysis, or pain, you can still prevent DVT. Special tight stockings and sequential compressing devices, SCDs, can be applied on the legs to help pump the blood back to the heart and prevent blood clots. SCDs are a special type of socks that inflate and deflate sequentially, which pumps the blood back to the heart. Medications to thin the blood may be needed to keep the blood from clotting inside the veins. Some of these medications are given by injection, such as heparin or lovenox, and others are taken by mouth, such as coumadin or warfarin.
Not all patients can have blood thinners. Your doctor will decide the best way to prevent DVT in your case. Make sure to ask your doctor about DVT prevention and whether you are a candidate for physical therapy, SCDs, or blood thinning medications. Doctors will not be insulted by your concerns. If you're not the patient, you can ask the doctor and nurse what measures are being taken to prevent DVT in the case of your loved one. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Conclusion DVT can be life-threatening. Preventing it is much easier than treating it. Make sure to exercise your legs as much as possible and to ask your doctor about the possible use of SCDs or blood thinning medications. Thank you for using Explain.